If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Okay, guys, so we're probably going to have to do the Rio Ferdinand review first because the servers are chalked, okay? Completely chalked. Uh, we'll do a, like, a tactic review at the same time. So we can test out the center back at the same time. I don't know. Five games is probably not going to be enough. I might have to use another account for it as well. But yeah, it's always like this when Team of the Season rolls around. But um, Team of the Year, Ferdinand, new SBC. Going to be honest with you guys, this was one of the best center backs in the game when he first came out. I, I've used this card on someone's account before. And he was an absolute monster. So I doubt it'll be anything different right now, even during Team of the Season time. But we're going to see if... Uh, if it's going to be any difference, right? So six foot two, medium high, three star, three star, mostly lengthy right footed player already working out really nicely, right? So he has regular jockey. Remember, I tried him out mainly before the patch. So we'll see how this works out. No intercepts, no block, but he does have anticipate plus slide tackle plus and the uh, bruiser as well. Power header, uh, acrobatic aerial to work with too. So we'll see what the vibes are there. This car with the shadow chemistry style is going to be working with very good pace, very good defensive stats, um, basically perfect defensive stats, and then physical stats that's set up in a pretty decent area as well. Some people might give him the anchor chemistry style. Um, I personally wouldn't because if people go on the counterattack against you, you kind of want your pace to be as high as possible, right? So uh, I'm just going to try out a new like 4-2-3-1 formation while doing this review because it is a center back review. So if I'm just letting people attack against me, like it does get a little bit boring, although you can do the review quicker that way. But yeah, we'll just use a new 4 2 3 one. This is a super old team. <laughs> this is the RTG squad, if you guys don't remember that we do not continue anymore. But um, yeah, we'll see how he plays in the defense. Hopefully he's a beast. Nice distribution. Oh my goodness, please. We're good. We're good. So that stuff would be really important, especially because, again, it does still make him a lengthy player. Oh, thank goodness. Rio Ferdinand saved me there. Almost. Ooh, we're good. Well done, Ferdinand. Oh, still not mine. Unlucky. And it's open again. Manual goalkeeping. Okay. block there yeah I had a feeling he was gonna make that pass there oh unlucky if I can just get that small little sharp touch there Oh, thank you. Finally. That's the back. There you go. Like that. Ooh, that works. Le Grand distribution. Le Grand switch. Yeah, first two, it felt fast there too. Oh, 
recovers the angle well there. Yep, first to it again. You know what I like about Ferdinand? When I'm running with him, like, he actually feels fast. And I think that's so important for, like, how this game generally performs. That felt pretty good. Pass the ball off. There we go. Really good challenge. Nice body to body. That was sick. Oh, overhit pass there. Unlucky. All position there for the deflection. Nice defensive AI is good there. Yeah, his AI when I'm like taking people out of position and stuff is very, very solid, man. I pressed the actual tackle button there, but him receiving it is just is just as good, honestly. Oh, team of the year Messi's still cooking, huh? Team of the year Messi's still cooking. Up left. Nice. I think he predicted the middle or the bottom left, something like that. Nice, good challenge there. Important. like that. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Ooh, war a fake shot. Nice slide challenge there. <laughs> Not exactly what I meant to do, but it worked out. Nice. Holding the general area gets me the interception. Almost gets a block there. Yeah, first to it. Pass it works out good there too. Don't have to actually clear the ball. It's not mine. Possess possession based challenges in this game, man, let me tell you. And he scores. Oh, thank goodness. It actually rewarded me there. Close. 
again. Couldn't get the block in time there. Okay, guys, so final verdict on Rio Ferdinand. Guys, uh, with the Anticipate Plus, like, just ignore if you don't get possession of the ball constantly. That's a FIFA thing. Like, that's just a thing that's... Uh, that's how they work with their manual defending, because it's very unrewarding, right? Now, generally speaking, as a defender, does Team of the Year Rio Ferdinand perform really well in game? In my opinion, I think he does, right? Um, I like his transition speed. I like his positioning on the pitch. His positioning on the pitch is incredible, right? Like, there's a reason why there were so many highlights specifically of that, because when you push people out of position... He needs to occupy those positions really well because that's part of the defensive play. Like if, if a goalkeeper does a deflection and he has to be in the right area at the right time to just receive possession of the ball and then go forward, he's going to be there, right? His body to body is really good, right? Six foot two, unique body type. That stuff works out really well in the card, 100%. There is one play style I wish he had and it was the intercept play style because I think intercept is such a massive play style to work with in this game nowadays because there's so many situations where the ball will be near you and they just will not do anything if they don't have that play style it's really weird but it does happen sometimes but not a lot because he still has the um the stats at a 99 right when you give him the shadow chemistry style boosting the acceleration sprint speed to be really high while working with good defense i think is a really important thing for him uh, the reason being for this is because in this game right now, it's a very R-trigger, counter-attacking heavy game. And I think it's really important to have really high pace on this card to work with a good, unique body type that actually makes him feel fast when he's chasing after someone, right? It's very, very important to have those sort of capabilities in game so that you don't feel like someone's just going to hold R-trigger against you in a tactic that's not even super, you know, attacking in the defense, right? Um, for them to attack against you, right? So for me, I think he's a great card to use in game, even during team of the season. I think he's still going to be a very good center back to use, but I think it's just going to depend on the person in regards to whether or not uh, they will fully complete the SBC. It's one of those situations where it's like, if you currently need um, a center back right now, that's like, you know, basically in the higher echelons of the higher tier metas for defenders, then complete the SBC for that reason, right? As of right now, I think the difference between this card and SBC value is like a 600K difference. Maybe it goes down a little bit more, but it's also gonna depend on the type of fodder that you consistently receive over the course of time because this SBC is gonna be out for nine weeks, right? So for someone that slowly builds towards Rio Ferdinand, they never packed like a crazy team of the year Van Dyke card or like any of like the top tier center back cards. This is now your opportunity to still get a really, really solid center back 100%. Like he still performs really well in game um, even after the patch. Because before I tried him mainly before the patch and I was like, this guy's amazing, you know? And then after the patch, Obviously, things change a little bit with some of the play styles that you want, especially Intercept. I like Intercept a lot, but Ferdinand is still going to perform very well in game, guys. If you guys end up unlocking him, you're still going to get a very solid center back. Um, but just be mindful, right? Because Team of the Season is now out. Maybe you get some cheaper options in the center back position. That could be really nice to work with. You pack some players. But you guys know me, man. If it was up to me, I would use like... Because this card is higher echelon for, for defenders. So... Just from that, I would put him in a squad and then just use different teams. But that's just me, right? It depends on the person and what they want to do with their teams. But Ferdinand's good, guys. I like him. I think he's a really good defender um, for how he generally performs in game. I really, really like his positioning. His positioning it was like the key thing for me, right? But yeah, body type works well with the pace. Pace feels good to match the meta of the game, so on and so forth. Very solid card in my opinion. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.